Hello and welcome. This is Ruth Hamilton and this is a very short video just to show you some ideas for colouring in the Labrador image from my website Ruth Hamilton Design and all the links will be down below. But um, in this video I'm going to show you how to colour in a golden Labrador and I'm using some of the Tonic Studios Nouveau alcohol markers. Now obviously there are different colours that you can use for this dog in fact, you could just use anything you want because it doesn't even have to be real colours. Just make up your own colour if you if you fancy that kind of thing. But um, these are digital images, so they're not physical stamps. And that means that you can download them once you buy them. You can download them and print them off in whatever size you like. Now, just for the sake of this video, I've kept my samples to exactly the same size. Because I think the dog um, images look really well on a card for males or females and sometimes whenever we're making cards for men I find that everything gets quite dull and boring and dark so I just wanted to show you that this is I think a really nice card that would be suitable for a man and it's not too sort of flowery or whatever some men might like that type of thing but I think if we stick to something more neutral it looks better and um, then also if you like dogs I've got a cute little pug image and a King Charles Cavalier over on my website as well if you want to have a little look at that. So um, basically what I'm going to show you here, you'll see on the video that I have used sweet vanilla mostly for the colouring of this, this uh, little dog. I've used dark slate and black smoke pens for the nose and I have used vintage walnut on the eye. Now on this other one here, on the lovely brown chocolate Labrador, I have used coconut shell and I've just layered it up. Now what I've done is exactly the same process that I've used on this one. So you'll see on the video that I take a short break because while, um, it's really only for a, a minute or two at the very very most, but because most of the layering up is done with one pen, um, wet on wet works at times but if you're wanting to, get, wanting to get a sort of deeper shading on it you may need to leave it to dry just for a moment or two and then come back. So I'll mark out on the video just exactly where I've taken that break and come back. Most of all I would just love you to go over and have a little look at my website. Um, I also love you to subscribe to my video channel, if you my YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos. There will be plenty more, there are actually quite a lot there at the moment and there will be plenty more because I intend to do a colouring video with every digi image that I have on my website and I hope you enjoy that. They don't always have to be coloured with alcohol markers of course. You could colour them with watercolours or pencils or just whatever you like. You could actually just print them out in black and white and use them as well. So I hope you enjoy that and uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you back again very soon. Thank you.